Welcome to my showroom in New York City, and in this video, I am going to guide you through the process how to wrap the dress in different ways and to create your desired style at home without anybody's help. So, we'll start from the basic. So, you wear the skirt on, on your waist or on your hips. <laughs> Or if you want to lift it higher, you can lift it higher right below your bust. So this, this part is very controllable. You just choose the desired area to wear it and leave it the way. The two scarves, they go basically to the back. And this is the most basic silhouette we're going to tie right now. Let's just show from the back. So you have these two scarves on the back. You can either crisscross it, crisscross it and bring it to the front. Or you can make a knot on your neck and then bring it to the front. Let's see how it looks on the front. You take these two long scarves, and the most basic way, you just wrap it around your waist, which always gives you this beautiful skinny waist. Let me show you my favorite way. You take the two scarves, you bring this in, crisscross it, take one this way, the other one the other way, and you have this beautiful little design on your waist. Another way. If you'd like more coverage on the side, open the scarf, bring it from higher on both sides. Again, crisscross, tie on the waist. You can wrap it on the back, or you can bring it to the front and tie a little nice sash that hangs in the front. Before I forget, I want to let you know that the scarf is very long. So the, the reason it's long is so that the dress can fit from 0 to 10. So if you're size 4 or you're size 6, maybe you need to chop off four to six inches from your scarf. Now, the, I'm going to show you the one shoulder silhouette. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the one shoulder silhouette. To create the one shoulder silhouette, you simply take both scarves to one shoulder. And this is, this is what you have on the back. Let's show the back. This is what you have on the back. Now you can twist it to create more elegant and interesting way. Take the two scarves, bring it to the front, crisscross in the front, bring it to the back, and tie a beautiful sash. And then you have this beautiful back, and this is your front. Let's do something more fun with the one shoulder sword. Let's say you want to have a little bit more dramatic in one shoulder silhouette. You can take this, the first left scarf, it hangs. The other one you open, create a little bit draped slip. And again, it's the same technique. You crisscross it in the breath, bring it to the front, bring it to the back, and tie your sash. And we have more dramatic with drop sleep silhouette in the front. I want to show you another fun way to wear and play with the dress, which is uh, with nuts. You take the two long scarves and just make one nut. Very simple. Bring it to the desired area. Let's say you want to have one shoulder silhouette again. Bring it down here and then you have this beautiful nut. You can bring it lower. And it's the same thing. You take it to the back, take the two scarves, bring it to the front, crisscross it on the front, and tie a sash on the back. And you have this another really elegant silhouette on the back. Let's just show our viewers the way. Now, since we have the nuts already, I want to go ahead and show you a few more ways. We bring this, we bring this to the front, this big nut, we bring it to the front, uh, and then we open, this, we open the two scarves, we take it to the back. Now, this is one way you can wear it with this with the the scarf is going to the back. If you always, if you want more security, you can always make an extra knot on the back, like we're doing right now. This way, it will give you more secure that everything will stay. And then also, it also can create a beautiful silhouette because you will have these two clean lines and a beautiful opening. So also, we now get the front to the back, and then we just tie a sash. There's also one way that I like. I like it with this version when you can just 
take this nut off and we can open the scarves. We just create a little bit of shoulders, which is actually one of my favorite ways. It's very romantic. Take the two scarves, bring it to the front, criss-cross, criss-cross, and you have a little sash. So that's one silhouette. Now, like we said in the earlier uh, style, the scarves, you can bring it from high if you want to have more coverage on the side, or you can bring it lower to just create a sexy silhouette. I also want to show you this dress comes with a matching tube top, which is optional, and you can purchase the tube top, and if you want to wear a bra or a strapless bra, or any type of undergarment that's going to be more useful for that, then it will give you more um, options of wearing the dress with an undergarment. And again, we take the scarves, we layer it over this little tube top, it actually gives you a very nice little cut here, it can create a square neckline. Let's do a little bit slip. Now, to create this slip silhouette, you open the scarf wide, you put it on this side, you open this one again, you will make it really wide, put it to the back. Um, let's show the back to our, to our viewers. You take the wire, you crisscross it in the back, bring it to the front, bring it to the back, and then again, tie this beautiful sash here. And like I mentioned earlier, the scarves are made longer so it can fit bigger size. So you just probably want to snap it like a uh, little six, seven inches, if you're size four or six. So moving on, let me show you the... Uh, what do I want to show? <laughs> oh, twist it. So we want to show you how to twist the dress to make it more sexy. We just take the scarf and let's say right above your bust, you know, just by your fingers, just determine the area where you want to twist, where you want to twist. Uh, so get it here, hold with your fingers, you know, and then start twisting the dress from this area. And then now you have more cleaner and more sexier cut. And the same thing you can do, you know, with this one. Then you have this beautiful little neckline. Now again, we're cr crisscrossing in the back. We bring it to the front, and let's just twist some more in the front. And by twisting in the front, you have this really tiny uh, little waistband. There you go. We want to show you the one shoulder, which is uh, very, my, one of my favorite ways because it's really, really fun. So you take the dress, you bring this. One scarf is in the front, the other scarf is in the back. So you bring this up high. Now, if you don't have the tube top, and if you want to wear it strapless, you lift this up here, you take the two scarves, just make a basic now. This is the easiest way to wear the dress, and it's a very elegant way, one of my personal favorites. Now, the scarf is up here, just take one, take another one, and just tie a basic bow. I mean, how easy it is to tie a bow. So let's just tie one big bow here and then open it to hang legs. Now you can look at this way and just have, let's show the back, and then you just have the, the scarves hanging. Or if you want to get a little bit more dramatic, you can make another bow. Let's just show like more of a side of this so you can, you can see in that here. And then after you're having this bow again, you just open, open the scarves, make it like quite chunky. And then you have this fun one. If you want to accessorize it, you know, you can also wear, let's say, a belt to match your shoes, then you have a beautiful waistline. I want to show you another way with the short dress. And again, like everything that I show you for the short dress, you can do uh, for the long one as well. So I want to show you another way to wear the dress. Uh, we wear it backwards. So the two scarves are in the back, and the back part is in the front. There are a few fun ways to do it. Just lift the scarves from the back, bring it to the front. Again, if you're wearing this long dress or the short dress, you know, uh, she doesn't have the tube top under it anymore, but you can wear an undergarment. Because a lot of you ask us if you can wear an undergarment with this dress. Yes, you can. This, in this way, you can wear it. So you create a little cute little sleeve. You can take it to the back. You just took it to the back, as you can see from the side. You bring the scarves to the front. And we just continue on wrapping to the front. We can lift this high waisted. We can stop wrapping here and right and um, tie it right here. Or if you'd like more fitted silhouette, you just can bring it down, voila, bring this to the back, tie it to the back. How cute is this version? 
Let me show you one more way with the backward scarves, and then we can continue to different steps. To create a strapless silhouette, um, again, the scarves are on the back, we crisscross the scarves, we bring this to the front, open them wide, you know, here, so we just open the scarves wide, we bring it to the front, and we continue wrapping the same way we did before. And let's, let's create a high-waisted silhouette this time, so it's a little bit different. And then we have a strapless dress. Okay, so let, let me show you just a more fun way to do the strapless silhouette. We bring the scarves to the front, one, two, and let's just nut it. Make this cute little nut right here, take it to the back, and then bring it to the front again, take this one, one, nut, to the back, and then tie. And you have this really cute front this way. Um, and now I want to show you another way that you can make this a different strapless version. The scarves are in the back, just bring one scarf to the front, bring one scarf to the front, and you can do what, this point you can do whatever you want to do with the scarves. You can just tie them together, make a little cute knot, and just roll it twice. That's like a really easy way to wear. Anybody can do this. Or, again, the scarves are in the front. What you can do, you can just make like a little cows, you know, one to the back, one to the back, and then you have like a little cow neck front here. Another very easy way to wear. Just bring the scarves to the front. Just do a little knot here, or twist. I'm sorry, twist. And then bring the scarves to the back. Bring them to the front and just do like a little little sash right here in the front. Very easy, very simple. And um, actually there's another very simple way that I want to show you. Quite elegant with the long dress, to my opinion. But it's the same technique that you can use. So bring both of them to one. Uh, <coughs> bring both, bring both scarves to one side, bring both scarves to the front bring both of them to the back. Very easy, very simple. And I would, if you're wearing black shoes, you can just put like a black little belt, accessory, and it's very elegant because the scarf hangs very long in the back, and it's super easy. Two scarves to the back, to the front, to the back. So I want to show you a few uh, back ways, what you can do with the back. So let's turn around to our viewers and show them some fun ways they can do with the back. So number one way, you know, we can again take it to the back, do a little twist when you bring it to the front, and then you have this really interesting back. Or you can just keep on twisting from the back, and then bring it to the front, and then you have this really interesting detail on the back. Another fun thing you can do um, with the back, just open the scarves very wide, And then just do like a basic crisscross on the back, which also gives it like quite interesting. Or you can just bring it to one side, twist on one side, and then bring. So like really fun ways, you know, to jazz it up for the back. Um, oh, you can also do like two nuts. You can do one nut, just bring it low down. You can do another nut, and then bring it to the front. Or we can come a little bit down, do another one, and bring it to the front, then bring it to the back, and then do your little sash. So it's like a lot of different fun ways, and uh, I'm sure you will come up with your own ways. Once you get into the whole wrapping process, you'll come up with many new ways that I can't even imagine or think of at this moment. And to just wrap up this video, I want to show you uh, very basic, very interesting and sexy ways you can wear this, and we'll finish up. Let's turn to the front, to our viewers. Mm. So, like I said, you can wear, you can, you know, wear the skirt on any desired um, area, wherever you want to be. Let's do it a very sexy way. Bring it down to the hips, you have this really deep V. Just twist on the back. Bring this very low in the front, open it wide, bring it very low to the front, crisscross, and just wrap it on the hip area. And then you have a really sexy, very deep V, 
very fun dress to go out. And it's very easy, very uh, basic to wear. Let's just do one more way of the most basic one. <clears throat> so we just lift the, we lift the same height, everything, we just lift the dress to, to, to the top, to very, very high, and we have a daytime look this way. And if you want to have a little bit more uh, fitted area, you can always bring the scarf down into the hip, and then this way you can create a very wide midriff. Very fit. Dress comes in plus size, and it comes in regular size. We've been showing you the regular size. The regular size dress is one size fits all, and it ideally fits from size zero to size 12. As you can see, there's a lot of room here, and the, the, the skirt can stretch, and it fits. Perfect.